This is David with TechNewsZone.com in Las Vegas. I um, did a quick video on the SLA printer from Sparkmaker, SDFHD. Had good luck with it. We, we used the original um, Sparkmaker filament that came with it, and then uh, we got samples of photocentric filament, and we got samples of um, Moncure. Moncure also sent us some cleaning chemical uh, and some stuff to make it stick to the bed better, uh, which is uh, this stuff right here, um, plate bond. We're new at SLA. Um, I was wearing a glove earlier, but I'm not touching the SLA right now. I gotta be more careful with it because I don't think I wear gloves enough. I don't know how bad this is for you, but it looks like it works. Right now I'm printing to, my son asked me uh, to print some of these tops. They're from Thingiverse. They're Inception Totem spinning tops, and they're from Thingiverse, so I didn't create them myself. I did modify them a bit, size, and a couple other things, but they're originally from Thingiverse. Totem spinning top.stl number one. Uh, the one that left me bigger than on the right, uh, bigger than the normal, but I'm trying to print two at once, see if this will do it. Um, it'll probably take a few hours. Um, but first I've tried printing two things at once. I printed quite a few things on this, about seven or eight things, and since I figured out what I was doing wrong, uh, it, it's been working really well so far, so, um, so I don't know, it'll, hopefully it'll keep going well. Um, and we're also going to be getting a Beam 3D Prism to mess with for a bit. That'll be another SLA printer. Uh, we're waiting on parts for our IMA 3D Jelly Box 2, 2 to come back, because right now this is the only printer we have that's working. We did get a XYZ printer, but it had some issues. Someone gave it to us, and I've yet to get it to work, so maybe that's why they gave it to us for free, because it didn't work. This one we got, we helped on Kickstarter, got a crazy deal on when I had money. Now we're rather broke, but about a year ago. Um, we got it finally in the mail, and didn't. we got a crazy deal on it, and, and it works very well. Um, eventually I'm going to need a new FEP sheet for it, as a... I'm still on the original one. I've only printed maybe 10, 12 things, so. But this is Dave with TechNewsZone.com, showing off our um, Sparkmaker FHD. Right now it's printing in, I think it's the clear blue, and I added some extra yellow to it to give it like an ocean green look, um, just for the heck of it. And I added some yellow. The color is kind of a murky green. So I, uh, as a result of that, I, I bumped up the uh, exposure time, I think 19 seconds, because it's a little thick. A little, I mean, in terms of density, in terms of color, I don't think it's thick, any more thicker than the regular resin, but in terms of color, it's uh, darker, so I bumped up the resolution a little bit, I bumped up the bottom layer time as well, so it's like 19 seconds per layer, I think it's 0.1, we can look at that actually, yeah, I'm doing it, if anybody's a spark maker person, this is what I have right now, it's mostly the Moncure um, 3D Blue, um, rapid resin from Moncure in Australia. These are my settings, and it's working beautifully with these settings with the Moncure. I colored it a bit green, so I actually bumped it up exposure to 19 rather than 16, and my bottom exposure is 160. So, this is um, Chitu Box from Sparkmaker FHD, um, and so it's printing in that. And the bill, the what's the filament? Resin is uh, Moncure resin, so. Uh, blue mostly, with a little bit of green. I tried to make it look more purple yesterday. I mixed red into the green, it came out gray. So I'm not sure I did wrong. But at least I got it to go green, so I'm learning. I'm not the best in the world coloring resin. I'm more experienced in, it, in FDM. It's like a this weird color. It, like it rises up out of the liquid um, and goes back down. It just probably won't take very long to print because these objects aren't that big. I'm printing two tops, uh, like spinning tops. So. Dave with TechNewsZone.com signing out in Las Vegas, June the 27th, 2019.